Hi you guys, it's Debbie from My Vagabond Style. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on week 16 of the Marguerite Miller Challenge. And I'm kind of excited about this one because it had some prompts that I really enjoy. So um, one was a playing card on either side, cursive writing, an image of two shades of green, something representing aviation, and a piece of a restaurant menu. The bonus is a star. So I am not going to be using, I don't think I'm going to use the star. I went ahead and put down this background, which I love. It's a Harlequin pattern and I just, it's scrapbook paper that I had and I thought it would work great for the background of this. Let me start gathering my items here. So this is our main image. I love this. I got it off Pinterest and I do want to cut this out though. And I think I want to move these tickets that she has. So I have a little bit of cutting to do. I think I can use these bigger scissors. But if you guys have watched some of my other videos, I love aviation and anything that goes with it. Vintage airline. I have like a lot of vintage airline paraphernalia that I've collected over the years. Um, my husband worked for the airline for like 31 years and I was in and out of it here and there as well. I didn't put in that many years, so. but I worked anything from baggage handling. I did baggage handling. Um, I actually de-iced planes, brought them in, you know, with the little wands. That was like one of my, I, I absolutely loved doing that. And let's see, what else did I do? Ticket counter, the gate. Yeah, did it all. Um, baggage, baggage department. <laughs> I didn't do that for very long. That was like no fun at all because you know nobody's happy when they have to go to the baggage office. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. I want to see what this looks like. Ooh, I like her behind that Harlequin. Doesn't she look good? Okay. So these, I was wishing I, I had a little bit more of them, but you know, more of the picture there. But we will make do. that. Yeah, I think I want to put her like down here. Okay, I am going to cut, I think, uh, I just want to move the tickets up slightly. So let's, let's go for it. I'm hoping that was the okay thing to do. You know, sometimes you just don't know until you're, you know, you're into it. Yeah, that, they're up a lot higher right there. We'll see. Let me cut the rest of this out. I should probably be using my little cutter bee scissors, the little yellow ones. All right, she's, she's good. And then um, another image that I have, one was um, a menu. So this is a menu it's not from American Airlines, but it's from United. And I thought that would be kind of fun to have there. 
And then I have this other image that had so many of the prompts in it. I was like, oh gosh, this has to be worked in there. So the guy, as you can see, is playing cards. So there's your playing card. And then she's holding the menu with two shades of green. So yeah, that's going to be worked in here. And I wanted to tell you guys about this. So I printed off this um, also from Pinterest. And this one, the colors are just, they were not, they're like this one. So here's, here's another image I was thinking about using. But look how flat those colors are. Come on, focus. There we go. See how flat everything is? So I took, and this one was exactly like that. And I took a Maj Podge, the matte, and I went over those colors. I went over this picture with the Maj Podge and it looks so much better than it was, like I said, totally flat like that. And now it looks pretty darn good. So that's a little trick you can do if you, you know, don't, aren't happy with the quality of your print job. So let's see, we'll have her there. And then I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with these tickets. The other image I was thinking about bringing in is this one. I think that one's really cute. Well, that's kind of a good, fairly good composition there. I do have to work in that. Uh, what do you call it? Menu. Let me let me go ahead and glue her down. Being brave, using art glitter glue. I did glue the Harlequin uh, paper down with glue stick and art glitter glue. I did them both. Mm -hmm. I want her off to the side a little bit. I don't really want her center. I think she's done now. Okay. And then this one, I'm not going to glue her hair down quite yet. This one, I think I'm going to cut this part out right here. I think. So as I'm editing this, I'm kind of thinking I should talk a little bit about the images that I'm using and how I got them off Pinterest. So I have something called a snipping, not a snipping, I think it's called a cutting tool or snipping tool, but it was on my computer when I got it. It's a Dell and I use it to harvest the images and I'm not selling these. I'm just doing this for myself. As long as you're just using these for yourself, there's really no reason why you can't take them off the internet. You can do a screenshot capture if you don't have the cutting tool, snipping tool, and uh, go for it that way. But once I get the images, I just store them on my computer, and then I go back in and I print them out. And I print them in various different sizes. Um, you can make them bigger or smaller, and you just have to play around with your printer and get familiar with it. Uh, my printer that I have is... an Epson ET2800 and it's the Echo Tank and it, the ink, it's very economical on the ink. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I do a lot of printing and I'm telling you, it just doesn't move very much, which is awesome because printing can be pretty expensive by the time you pay for the premium paper, the presentation paper or the photo. I use matte photo finish paper um, you know, that can get kind of expensive if you were just to kind of willy nilly keep printing stuff out, but it kind of just opens up a whole new world when you got all these images. So they're not all harvested from magazines that I have. I just kind of wanted to point that out because a lot of times people think, well, I can't do that. I don't have these images, but if you've got a computer and you've got some, and you've got printer paper then you should be able to do it. 
just wanted to let you know that it is obtainable to get really great images without, you know, hunting for all these vintage magazines. Don't get me wrong, I love all my vintage magazines and I have a huge collection of them along with different books. But this is just a great option when you have a specific thing that you're looking for. So I hope that's helpful. I also just wanted to take a moment to point out that I am doing videos on usually on Sunday and then I do one on Wednesday and I do one on Friday. So make sure that when you subscribe, which costs nothing, it's just like a follow, you know, um, that you hit the notification bell. That way you'll know and then hit all. So you hit the bell and then you hit all. And then that way you'll know when the video posts. I usually do it real early in the morning. And um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you weren't aware that I'm doing three a week. Okay, I've got that one cut out right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and work in the menu my glue stick. Cut a little bit off the bottom of this menu. I think we want it right about there. And now we'll put this one about here. Still on the fence of whether I want to cut that out right there. I think I want to leave it. But okay, let's see what we want to do with these. Put that one high in the corner there. What else? Do we need a little something right here? Let me see what I can come up with. I'll be right back. All right, I think I got it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. I had to search through a lot of images to try to find what I, what I want. And it's really not that different. It's just sometimes you feel like you need exactly the right thing. Okay, so that can go right there. And then this one I'm gonna keep right here. Okay, I want it right kind of here in the corner. I better put my pen in my little spot here. Okay, and then what I decided I want to do is I am going to put these right here and I'm going to add like they're going to Honolulu. I'm putting this tiki in here. It has two colors, two shades of green. And I think that kind of works. I do want them kind of tipped like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. And I'm gonna to have to do some cursive. There is some cursive on the gal's menu right here. So I feel like I've got that, but I am gonna write on this ticket. So I'm gonna write in cursive um, LAX to HNL. Nobody will probably see it but me and you. And then I thought maybe this would be kind of cute there. I don't know. Uh, one other thing I am going to add is I'm going to add this plane right here.
this is sticking up. There we go. Kind of want it at a little bit of an angle like it's sticking off. Okay, I like it. All right, so let's go over the props real, real quick. A playing card either side. We've got it right here, this gentleman playing cards. Cursive writing, we have it here and then we have it here. Um, an image with two shades of green right here and also here. And then something representing aviation. Well, basically it's the whole collage. <laughs> A piece of restaurant menu, we've got it back here. And then the bonus we did not use, we traded it out. Oh no, we didn't trade it out, we just didn't use it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you next time. Bye.